Make that deal we, right yeah, now, huh? <laughs> we you need that in my life, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely incredible. Wow. Rachel and I have a similar deal. I would like to put it out there. We both agreed. You're never going to see us again. We're out of here. Yeah. Let's go. No, seriously. Yeah. If, I, if I won the lottery, you guys aren't seeing me ever. Uh-uh. Bye. Ever. Yeah. She's called yeah. in forever. Yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, yeah. Calling in sick for the rest of my career. And then we can just live like this all the time. Look at that view from Lake Monroe. That's nice. I Beautiful. like that. I, I love this. There. Yeah. We'll, we'll have one of our homes there, yeah. Rach. No doubt. Just always a beautiful <laughs> sunrise over at Lake Monroe. We are going to be watching this view all through the weekend because it's just going to be fantastic weather to be out on the water. Hopefully you can get access to that. Call up some old friends. You never know who won the lottery, huh? Hey, look at this 90 degree days. We have had 12 so far this year. Average year, we top off at about 19 of them throughout the course of the summer. So we're right about on track. Remember last year, we had 26 90 degree days. Right now, temperatures sitting at 67 degrees. Indianapolis, same in Shelbyville, 65 in Bloomington, and 63 right now in Terre Haute. On top of that, we have the humidity. Dew point still well into the 60s, going to continue to feel muggy today, and that is going to increase as we head into the weekend. One of the problems with that, of course, is that we do get some fog in the mornings. Terre Hope, really tough to see the roads ahead of you, so be cautious. That really could slow you down. Maybe give yourself a couple of extra minutes this morning so that you don't have to speed through that. That's the kind of fog that can really make street lights and stop signs sneak up on you. As for the wind, not much at all. Oh, we are really going to be lacking in a breeze for the next couple of days today, only up to about five miles an hour. The good news, though, that'll be out of the north, so it will feel a little refreshing. Live Guardian radar, nice and quiet as high pressure settles back into control. Watching the northwest, though, that front eventually going to slide our way. It's going to bring us rain at the beginning of next week, but the back side of that drier and much more comfortable. Tropics also to be watched. We have Hannah in the Gulf that's moving toward the Gulf of Texas and then also watching in the Caribbean Sea where Gonzalo is moving through St. Lucia and toward Aruba here over the next couple of days. Then we have Hawaii also tracking a hurricane out their direction category four right now, but will weaken as it gets toward the big island. Future view right now is going to show all of that sunshine. Beautiful day to have lunch outdoors in the shade. Same thing for dinner. Try to get outside at some point and enjoy this. Overnight, nice and quiet. Looks like a beautiful Friday night. Saturday morning, best chance to get your yard work done because after about 9, 10 o'clock, you're going to really feel that heat kicking in. Intense then in the afternoon, mostly sunny, and we will have that heat index factor up to about 100. We can't completely rule out a stray shower. I think most of us would welcome it with that heat, but it's really nothing to cancel any plans over because we will mainly be dry this weekend. Today, mostly sunny and humid. High going to hit about 87 degrees. Tonight, mostly clear, low of 67. Fantastic evening to spend outdoors. And then tomorrow, 89 will be the high temp. But as mentioned, heat indices will max out at 100. That's dangerous heat. You can't spend an extended period of time outdoors in that unless you are taking breaks in the shade. Same thing for Sunday. Actual air temp should get up to 91. And then next week, I told you about that front that'll bring us some active weather at the beginning of the week. But then Wednesday and Thursday, mostly sunny with highs in the low 80s. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom.